Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel is Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I look at all sorts of undervalued, uh, undervalued sectors, which then transpires into uh, undervalued companies. And I share that with everyone on the channel. So we may evaluate some companies. I do a lot of technical analysis uh, that shows us where the opportunities could present themselves from a charting perspective uh, in the sectors that are undervalued. So what I do is my approach is look at market conditions. My opinion is inflation from real estate because we have a real estate expansion phase. Then that flows into uh, ratios and the ratios tell us what's cheap. That's commodities right now. And, I, and then I look at all of the commodity sectors. There are also very large structural changes happening in the markets. Uh, renewable energy is one of them. They're going to throw a buttload of money at that. And then they're also looking at electric vehicles. Electric vehicles uh, also could be a potential opportunity uh, given how much money they're going to throw at this and all of the subsidies and whatever else. I do think that electric vehicles will catch on and they'll be used more so. Uh, I just don't know the speed and all that stuff that it's going to happen. But I want to look at the electric vehicle charts to see if there are any opportunities and what they're doing. It's important uh, that we know some, and look at this stuff because if they're going to throw trillions of dollars at it, we could put some money uh, and allocate it to that sector. So let's look at some of the electric vehicle companies and the electric vehicle component companies just to see what they're doing. Again, you don't have to buy these. I'm just looking to see if there's opportunities out there. So I'm looking for opportunities, uh, electric vehicles, manufacturers, and the components of EVs. Uh, technical analysis to see what looks worthy of further investigation. We do want to be prepared if EVs take off and governments through you know throw tr trillions of dollars at these things. I I, I want to look at them. I, I want to look at them. So here's Tesla. Uh, Tesla is in vertical mode right here. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it, uh, especially not at this price and how little money they actually make today. So this is predicated 100% off of growth. And I would be very weary to be jumping in on a chart that just broke its uptrend pattern like that. So I'm going to be on the sidelines for this one, for this company. This one's Neo. It's still heading back. It's going towards it, it its trend line here. Uh, we do have some dark cloud cover, dark uh, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing. This thing's going to head lower. It gets it got punched lower, and I think we're still heading lower at the moment. <clears throat> this one's workhorse group. Now this one's looking very interesting. We have a large flat pattern here. This this we'll call it sloping trend line at best. And we broke to the upside of this thing, and then it sold off like heck. But we're right here, kind of right at this trend line. And I like buying back tests. So let's take a, a, a little bit deeper look into it. See if we can find anything else with it. <clears throat> the trend line's down here, and it would be right below it. So we do have wick on the bottom. We have another wick on the bottom. We have another wick on the bottom. And then we've got a dark, we'll call it a, a black candlestick, which means it opened and the momentum, momentum's coming back down. This one I'm going to watch just, just to see. I just want to see if this thing breaks its trend line to the downside but it looked interesting it's a very interesting chart and one that i would be interested in because of the back test but looking at it from this perspective it looks like there's still i want to see if this holds down here because there's a lot of buyers you can see all the wicks on the bottom down here a lot of buyers down here if this thing holds and starts to head back up maybe that's one to look into workhorse group wkhs this one's Archimoto. Look at this. This is a great breakout here. It broke right through it, back tested a couple times, and then took off. And then we're coming back on this pullback. I bet you it's going to do a couple more little things down, or maybe it's going to be a shoulder, head, shoulder pattern and come back down here. But this might be one to look at if it comes back to the six, six, seven dollar range somewhere down here. This one's Candy Technologies. This one also looks really interesting. You've got this kind of bull market up and you got this pull, humongous pullback here over many, many years. And then we broke this downtrend line. Boom, broke it, 
pulled back and it's just going kind of berserk sideways. We have a lot of volume down here. So people are buying it. This is a top. This is a lot of volume for a top. So that's that's people selling as it goes up. <clears throat> now we're buying on the bottom here. So this one's looking very good to me. Zoom in. Bullish engulfing. Big power right there. I think this one looks really good. We've got the nice big moves up, the leak out of the sellers. Big move up, leak out of the sellers. One last kind of leak off, and then the big bullish engulfing. This this could be this could be okay. This could be a good company. That you might want to look at KNDI Candy Technologies. Look at this further to see if this is a good company fundamental wise. Here is Lee Auto. Uh, we got this chart pattern broke to the downside. This is a bearish engulfing, and it looks like we want to go down further. If this thing heads all the way back down, maybe do a double bottom down to $10, $12. Maybe this one looks good to, to enter and put a little money in. Because remember, they're going to throw a lot of money at this stuff uh, worldwide. Green Power Motor Company. Not looking good from this perspective. Pattern, the, the uptrend pattern here. So this is an up, up, uptrend line that broke to the, to the side, you know, broke out sideways. Bearish engulfing, heading lower, came up. Another bearish engulfing, heading lower is my guess. But I'd probably watch it if you guys like this one. I don't, I don't know much about these. I was just doing technical analysis to see what electric vehicle companies and component uh, manufacturers might look good. This one's uh, Velodyne LiDAR. LiDAR, there's, there's la uh, la laser, LiDAR. LiDAR is a, is a vision uh, system. We use them in aerospace. Um, so that's what that is. It's a, it's a component. This is a component for electric vehicles using LiDAR. It broke out to the downside, but we do have some support. I would be pretty interested probably down here if it comes that low. And it finds support, I should say. This one's Velodyne LiDAR. Well, it's, I'm zooming in on it to see if we see anything different on the daily candlesticks because that was a weekly. Big moves up with these big candlesticks. Coming sideways, sold off quite hard. Looks like it's battling down here between the buyers and the sellers. So uh, it doesn't look like it's ready yet. That's my opinion. This one's Luminar Technologies. Uh, I think this one's going to head lower. We've got three large down days, two smaller up days, and then a big bearish engulfing here. So I think it may still head lower. But we do have good movement up in these, these three weeks here instead of these three weeks. This is a weekly candlestick chart. I almost forgot. This would have been really good. See how it came down in the dead period right here? Ooh, that was that's a good spot right there. This one's blink charging. Uh, blink charging, we got the downtrend line, broke to the upside, pull back a little bit. This one doesn't look too bad. If blink charging's good, this one may head way higher. This one looks pretty interesting, actually. I don't know much about it, but on a weekly chart, this thing broke a over a decade-long pattern to the upside and kind of pulled back right here. Looking pretty good. This one's Z uh, or XPEV, XPing. So large move up, the sell-off, bearish engulfing, boom, coming down, chopping sideways. Uh, this is on a weekly candlestick. Let's look on a daily here. So on a daily, you can see this move looking quite, this is really strong here. And then we came all the way back, almost, you know, somewhere down here. Came up, pulled back, uh, bullish engulfing here. We might see a little bit of a pullback here, and then I think we're probably going to go higher. XPeng looks pretty good. I don't know much about the company. Might want to do some further research into XPEV. Uh, Lordstown Motors Corp. Big. This thing is going all over the place. $30 to $13 in one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. Wow, that's that's impressive. Then you can see the the, the wicks at the top here. See all these wicks? Lots of sellers up there. You're not going to move it past this area. There's too many sellers. It's sold right off. Boom, 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 boom. You can see the contraction in the candlestick bodies. 
going into this corner here. So if you were to chart it, got the candlestick wicks at the top, showing that it was going to go down. It's all the wicks were at the top, and then the reversal down. Eventually, you want to see the wicks at the bottom down here. This it might be okay to buy down here um, eventually. This one's Lordstown Motors zoomed in just to see what the heck was going on with all these moves. Quite volatile. You can see this thing contracted to a point up here and then sold off hard. Doesn't look too bad down here. I think it's starting to round out. It's trying to put in a bottoming process right now. This one's Quantum Scape Corporation. This one looks really good here. This big move up and then all the little, little down days here. Bullish engulf. Well, it's not really a bullish engulfing, but close enough. Came all the way up. Dark cloud cover put going back down. Nothing's negated the dark cloud cover yet. So I think it's still sideways or down. <clears throat> Looking at it from a daily basis. Coming up. Came back. See how this thing contracted back right here. Dead period. Popped higher. Came back. Probably going to just continue to, to coil up before this thing moves up. That's my guess. Hylian High, High 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 Holdings Corp. Big move up. Nice big uh, weekly candlesticks here. And then the sell off of the sellers. And this might not be too bad down here. If, if it finds some secure footing. I don't know anything about these companies fundamental wise. I'm only looking at the charts. Let's, let's look at the daily on this. You can see this daily. It's coming back, coming back, coming back. It needs to find a bottom before, before I like this thing. Once it finds a bottom and then starts to head back up, I, then I would start really looking at the fundamentals of it. Bollard Powered Systems. Uh, this thing's gone. Broke its downtrend right here. Again, look at how long this took to move. This is something that you just want to hold it and forget about it because major gains happened from 2016 onward. Major gains. So I probably wouldn't go into that one. Plug power. Again, this thing broke its massive pattern. Went from five bucks all the way to, I can't even read this, 70 or $80 or something, and it pulled back to 35. So I, I probably wouldn't be looking at that one right now. This one's LTHM Livent Corp. Uh, this one's looking actually pretty good. This is almost a, a cup handle pattern. We've got some big candlesticks starting to, to show themselves. Bullish engulfing on the weekly candlestick. Let's look into it. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Livent Corp, guys. Broke its downtrend. This one's looking really good, actually. If you, I don't know anything about Livent. So uh, LTHM, that's the one I would look into right now. That has the best chart. Uh, but these are this is the electric vehicle companies. These are some of the charts for it. I wanted to chart them out to say, hey, look, if there's some opportunities, which Livent Corp looks very good, LTHM. A couple of those other ones that have pulled all the way back. I mean, if, they, if they've got solid fundamentals, those might be good ones to look into as well. Uh, I don't know as much about this area. Uh, I wanted to just chart them out to see, hey, look, what, what companies are potential opportunities? From a, from a charting perspective, we need to look at to see what they do. We need to look at uh, fundamentals. Are they making money? Are they losing money? Is this all predicated off of growth? What do they make? Uh, how, how do they fit within the overall sector? Uh, are they a, a leader? Are they kind of mid-pack or are they a laggard? You know, what, what are all these things? And I got all these companies off of some articles about what other people thought uh, of these companies being kind of the best stocks in the electric vehicle arena. So that's where I got these companies. I'm just charting them out to see if any of them are potential buys. Livent looks the best, LTHM, just to, to do some further research into. If they're going to throw trillions of dollars at these sectors, I, I got to at least look at them and, and share it with you guys. So if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.